With the APC64, we can easily launch clips and samples from Ableton Live Session View. This can allow us to make alternative arrangements of our tracks or perform them live. In Session View, the 64 pad grid is a representation of Ableton Live's Session View. So you'll see that each track containing a clip is reflected here on the APC64. Not only that, each track is the corresponding color of that clip. Pressing a clip will trigger it to play, and it will play in time with your project. Pressing an empty clip slot will stop any clips from playing in that particular track. Scenes are the horizontal rows of clips, and we can launch an entire scene with the scene launch buttons on the right hand side of the grid, instantly switching to a new section of our song. We can stop all clips by holding shift and pressing stop all. Right now we're working in a project that utilizes eight tracks and eight scenes. Our projects can of course be bigger than eight tracks and eight scenes, and we can use the arrow keys in the bottom left to navigate around the Ableton Live project. And you can see as the red box moves on the screen that the APC64 changes to reflect where we're navigating to. This is perfect for big projects and performances with lots of layers. If we have an audio track with empty clip slots, we can drag samples in from our library into the empty clip slots. And now we can trigger them with the APC64. We'll be getting into more tips that you can use with your APC64 to create music and perform in the rest of these videos in this playlist.